Hi, it's Mr. Anderson and this is AP Physics Essentials video 15. It's on space-time, which is a combination of space and time, which normally in classical mechanics we treat separately. But in relativistic mechanics, that developed by Albert Einstein, we have to combine these two because they can be affected by gravity and velocity. And so in normal life, we treat space and time separately. We have the three dimensions of space. It's the, it's the area where we move around in. It's our length times our width times our height. And we treat that separate from time, today, tomorrow, the next day. We think of time as a different dimension. It just moves forward. And so we've always assumed that space and time are universal, same throughout the whole universe, and that they're constant. Space here is the same as space somewhere else, and time progresses along the same route. But what Einstein found is that it's all relative. Changes in, for example, velocity can change space and time. And so can gravity. And so we've come up with this term called space-time. And the big thing you have to understand is that it's not absolute. It's changeable. And even though this seems crazy, it's really the way that the universe works. And so again, we live in the world of classical mechanics, a world that is much slower than the speed of light and much larger than atoms. But as we start to approach the speed of light and as gravity gets very, very large, we start to move into this relativistic mechanics. And so let me give you an example of that. If you're an astronaut in the International Space Station, you are going very, very fast. You're orbiting around the Earth. You're moving much quicker than people on the Earth. And so what scientists know is that there's something called time dilation. And so the faster you go, the slower time is for you. And so as you're orbiting around the Earth, it's all relative to you. You don't feel time slowing down. And on our planet, we don't feel it going faster. But if you could observe both of them from a distance, you would find that there are differences in their time. So there's some weird things that come out of time dilation. You would find that your clocks in relation to clocks on the planet are actually running slower. And so they'll fall behind over time. And with the GPS that we use, the satellites that we use to figure out our location, they have to adjust for this relativistic time dilation. We also see gravity affecting time as well. So if you're on a rocket ship right close to the Earth, we have a high amount of gravity. But as it moves away, time is actually going to speed up. And so gravity can affect time, which just seems crazy, and it, it even can affect space. And so as things move faster, we find that they'll actually get shorter in the direction that they're moving. Now, you won't see this on Earth. You have to be approaching the speed of light, but the faster you go, the smaller things get in that dimension, but it's relative. You won't note that happening, but an observer could see that um, from a distance. And so did you learn how special relativity shows that the properties of space and time are not absolute? I hope so. I hope that was weird, and I hope that was helpful.